and welcome back to part 17 of Let's Play Astro Boy Omega Factor and and I had to like 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 uh meet up with some characters that we that I didn't really get to find in the past levels so I had to replace some of them and then yeah but now and now I know what to do. Alright, so now we're just gonna go to to that archaeolog archaeological site with the excavators happening. Hi! Hey Astro, you're here. Hey Boone, Astro's here. Oh, hey Astro, the excavation is going great. This is a major archaeological ar discovery. Boon, I'm sorry, but the relic underneath here must be destroyed now. What? Underneath of here is, uh, Shara is Sharaku, the prince of Mu from 30,000 years ago. His Hoa Kabari Kiluma potion is there which keeps him alive. He could, he could catch him. We could catch him off guard now. Do you realize you're saying what you're saying? This is an invulnerable archaeological find. Besides, how do you know what's underneath when we haven't excavated it yet? It's because I was back there thirty thousand years ago, and are you talking about time travel? That is enough. I am a scientist, unless you can explain this nonsense scientifically. Will you believe me if I can show you something that can't be explained then? Oh, uh, hmm? Sure. But I won't fall for some cheap tricks, you know. Okay, let me blow this whistle. Ambassador Magma! Do you call me Astro? My goodness, what are you? I am Magma, a rocket man. A rocket man? It's neither animal nor machine. I don't believe my eyes. This can't be explained by our science, can it? Will you believe me now? Okay, you're right. You win. Do what you want with the ruins. What's next? Oh my! Something jumped out of those ruins and vanished right after that. It must be Shiraku. Oh, oh man, he's running away. He must have teleported away. Hmm, there's no clue to where he's gone. Shiraku, where have you gone? My excavation's ruined. When did things go so crazy? Well, I'm done powering up everything for my, uh, for this thing. But it's time to meet with Kennedy again, and he'll tell us where to go. I'm Kennedy, a kid detective. For some reason, I lost my memory, but it's all coming back now. You're waiting for Atlas, or Daichi, or Daichi, are you? You're right. Sounds like you're on our side. I'll tell you what happened. Daichi is an old friend of mine. He asked me to find Dr. Jack, Black Jack, the world's finest doctor. We had to keep quiet about this, so we decided to meet here to talk. I finally found the doctor, but now Daichi is missing. I was planning to at least tell Mr. Tokugawa, but then... This scary eye got into my head and pinned me down here. A scary eye? Let's get out of here now. You never know when it's gonna attack again. 
Dr. Black Jack is in is in Japan, Astro. His house is at Hazam Haz, Hazama. Mm, Misaki in Japan. Mm, you can find him there. Thanks. Well, we now know where to go now. Are you Dr. Black Jack? Yes. Is there something I can do for you? I can use your help in an operation, you see. The doctor doesn't doesn't operate on anyone anymore. And who are you? Me? I'm his bodyguard. Er, I meant manager. What? Doctor, are you being threatened not to perform any operations? It doesn't concern you, so just leave. I'll use my hammer sensors and see if I can figure out what they're saying. Good job, Doctor. All you have to do is to continue not to operate. You. If anything happens to Pinocchio, I'll tear you apart. Oh, how scary. Calm down, Doctor. Of course, she's safe. She'll be fine as long as she's under the watchful eye of Skunk. Skunk? I've got it. She must be on... On Cruciform Island. Alright, we gotta go to Cruciform Island. Mr. Mr. Homespun, is your client Dr. Blackjack? How did you know? My job is to find his daughter, Pinocchio, for him, but did, did you find any clues? There's a secret base below these ruins. I believe an evil villain named Skunk and Pinocchio would with him, but I can't get to, to where he's hid. She's hidden. Hmm. Okay. Why don't you go see Skunk one more time? I have an idea. Okay. I'll go and wait for you. All right. We gotta go get Skunk now. That's it, King Senkaku. Give it up. What the? Hey, Pook. What? Hey, hey, this is a decoy. They got Pinocchio. What are you talking about? What that kid is, is locked up. See? Pinocchio is right there, you fool. Hmm, I see. You, you aren't ham. You aren't ham egg. Disguise is disguise is my speciality, or is my specialty. They don't call me Rainbow Parakeet for nothing. Now give yourself up. Shoot. Hey, Pook, go get him. Hey, where did he go? Pook was just here. Where did he go? Don't worry about him. Let's go rescue Pinocchio. I'll handle these guys. Take care to Black Jack, Astro. Or take care to Black Jack here. <coughs> Wait, Astro. I'll come with you. Hey, let's get out while we can. Yep. So, Pinocchio has finally been rescued. It's about time, Pook.
Alright, so I guess we have to go go back to Dr. Blackjack's house. Hey, what are you doing here again? The, the good doctor told you that he doesn't perform operations anymore. Doctor, I rescued Pinocchio. What? Uh-oh, this isn't good. Oh, great. Time for Plan B. Fight our special supersized roboid. Dr. Blackjack, your daughter is here safe and sound. Hey, I'm not his daughter, you know. Oh, Pinoco. Oh, Doctor. It's so good to see you again. So spill it. Why did you do this? Someone was paying me big bucks to make sure the doctor wouldn't operate. I don't know the reason, but... If he's rich, who cares? I don't get it. Who would benefit by forcing Dr. Blackjack to stop operating? Astro, can't you figure it out with, with that super brain of yours? If he could have operated Drake, may, Drake may not have hated robots so much. Perhaps Blue Knight may never have been born. They'll all, they'll all possibilities though, not fact, but if you knew the future. There's one person who would benefit from all this. A terrible man. What? A completely, I completely left him out of the picture. He can also travel through time. Sharaku! He knows from previous battles that he can't defeat me. That's why he's working behind the scenes to make his plans work. He must have been the one who made it difficult for Kennedy to think clearly. He used the, his telepathic powers to make Kennedy forget. So Kennedy couldn't tell anyone how to get to Dr. Blackjack. But we must have weakened... Sharaku when we drove him off Firebase Island. Dr. Blackjack, could could you go to the moon right now with me? Right now? Yes, there's a patient with a disease only you can cure through an operation. She's she's Counselor Drake's daughter. Saving her could mean saving the world. Sharaku had Pinoco kidnapped and we don't know what he's up to. So we've got to hurry. No time for stage select anymore. Alright. Don't worry. I'll contact Dr. Roche and have him prepare a shuttle. Greetings. Would you happen to be the Counselor Drake? 
If so, I have some good news for you. Have you ever heard of Death Mask? Who am I? <laughs> My name is of no importance. That's probably Shiraku. We've almost reached the moon. I hope Prime Rose is still safe. Astro, we're picking up a strange transmission. I think you better listen. It's been transmitted all on all world channels. Nuka, you must be hearing this. When, wherever you are, the life of Duke Red now rests in my hands. If you want me to release him, activate the death mask right now. Drake, are you mad? I guess he must have found Duke Red's hideout place. Drake, do you realize what you're doing? If you continue with your actions, your political career will be over. Hmm, politics? Career? You don't know me at all, Duke Red. None of those things matter to me. Ever since my daughter was killed by a robot, I've only had one objective. Revenge. Revenge on all robots. So don't ask me if I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. All robots will go out of control sooner or later. This is a golden opportunity. A certain someone was kind of was kind enough to tell your location and death mask secret. And as luck would would have it now, I can annihilate all of robot kind. I would gladly sacrifice my planet and my life to get my revenge. My life in this world is simply meaningless without my daughter. Fool! You know nothing about Nuka. She won't respond to your threat. Well, well, we'll see, won't we? I think I know more about the bond between father and daughter than you. After all, I'm willing to sacrifice everything for the sake of my daughter. And I don't think your relationship is an exception to this rule. Nuka, I know you hear me. You must respond within three hours. I don't know where you are, but I don't think you're outside the solar system. I'll wait for you to answer my transmission. Hey Drake, don't start the party without us. Huh. I knew you that you could hear our communication, Astro. I have an anti anti protion bomb with me. Even one second after three hours, and boom, the bomb will explode. So it's no use. I have nothing left to lose. What should we do? He's crazy, but he means it. So I finished the operation in three hours and then we show Drake his daughter. Once Drake realizes his daughter is okay, then we'll be fine, right? Is this po is that possible? The only concern is who's going to pay the bill of the father's killed. If the father's killed. Well, I'll do the operation anyway, but I'll charge extra for the rush. The life of Prime Rose is priceless. Money is no object. Hmm. Just, just so you know, I'm also known as the world's most expensive doctor. Don't worry, Mr. Tokugawa is also one of the most wealthiest man, men on Earth. Shoot, Atlas is gone. There's a switch at the base of this statue. I am... I'm going to press it. So that's what triggers it. 
Here she is, Doctor. Hmm. This will be a challenge. But if all goes well, then she may then she may regain consciousness soon. But there's no time to waste. We must operate on her immediately. I brought an air tent with me. Get get it. Roger. This patient has a very bad case of Dolem Dolem Dol Dolmeca syndrome. The air tent will will run high levels of oxygen for this operation. It will be very dangerous inside, so don't touch the air tent, Astro. If damaged, the tent will cause a huge explosion. Alright. Hey, hold. Hey, hold it right there. What are you guys doing? Atlas. This is a good time. So what have you been doing while I was away, Astro? Listen to me, Atlas. This person is... Shut up! I'm going to finish you... Alright, let's start out over again. <clears throat> Listen to me, Atlas. This person is... Shut up! I'm going to finish you here. Once and for all. Doctor, we must stop this operation now. We can't stop now. We have to continue. We'll lose Prime Rose if we stop operating now. You must protect the air tent until the operation is over. I'll see what I can do. Time's up, Astro. Here I come. This one, this probably won't be easy. We're just gonna fight them up in the air. Enough, Atlas. I have a very important mission I have to accomplish. I I fight for a future of. Yep. You see the same thing. He didn't abandon me. What? I finally realized it. My father, Dr. Tenma, let me go to test me. It's because he believes in me. Atlas, you are nothing but, a sh but my shadow. And I will defeat you. You've been drowning in your own sorrow for far too long to be rescued. I shall defeat you, my dark shadow. Astro! Time's running out. Die, Duke Red, from my daughter. Daddy, stop! I'm right here. Prime Rose, I guess the operation was a success. success. No, it's not possible. 
You must be trying to trick me. It must be a robot in disguise, right? It's really me, Daddy. I'll prove it. You have a dent in the back of your head. A quarter can fit in it. And if you place a candle, it'll stand right it'll stand there. What? I wasn't even kidnapped by a robot. My friend Daichi was disguised as a robot to take me out to the moon. Was it me? I took you? Daichi, could it be you? Ah! Atlas! I believe you deserve an explanation. So I'll tell you what happened. Mr. Tokugawa. My son snuck on to the moon with Prime Rose. Her pro or her prognosis was bad. He wanted to grant her a wish to, to see the moon. But what he didn't know was that Death Mask was secretly being developed on the moon's surface. Extended exposure to um, to omotinium is hazardous to humans. That's why the moon was off limits until Death Mask was launched. When I found him, my son had been exposed to for for, for long as was dying. I I. Ironically, Prime Rose was safe, enclosed in her medical capsule. I'd be ruined if Death Mask was discovered, so we hid the incident. We didn't want anyone else to know about this accident. We had Dr. Tenma create a robot with Daichi's memories implanted. And we kept Prime Rose hidden here to keep her our to keep our secret safe. Artificial hibernation would prevent her from getting any ro worse. Daichi, it is, it is you. You sacrificed yourself to protect me. Now I'm beginning to remember Prime Rose. Drake. I mean, Mr. Drake, I am Deji. This was all, this was all my fault, and I take full responsibility for everything. You may even take my life if that is, if that is your wish. So you're Deji. My daughter couldn't stop talking about you. I never expected to meet you like this. I give up. I surrender. Daichi, take care of my daughter for me. Mr. Drake, I'm... Sorry to butt in your little soap opera. I'm very disappointed in you, Atlas. Dr. Tenma, I thought that if, uh, if I trans transplanted a human brain into a ye robot, your abilities would exceed Astro's, but I guess humans are too weak. I don't know who you are, but I don't think you know what being human really is. Humans can be weak, yet because of this, we can feel kindness and sorrow. That's what makes us different from robots. <laughs> what do you know? Hey Atlas, I no longer have any interest in you. Get lost. Hey, you can't talk to him like that. Here you go. It's a part for you. Keep it as a farewell gift. 
It's not my special specialty, but it'll cure you. Maybe this world's best doctor here can can put all the pieces together for you. Hm. I'll make sure to send you the bill. Father, you're Astro, you fool. When you ever going when you are ever going to learn to evolve. You must learn not to feel most emotions. You must learn how to control them. Yes. Nuka, can you hear me? I'm fine now. It's all over. Thank you, Astro. Because of you, humanity and robot kind were saved. You're very special. Nuka, are you going to keep watch over the Earth all by yourself? Yes, I am the Goddess of Judgment. But remember, you'll always be in my heart. Nuka. I'm so terribly sorry to interrupt, but it's not quite over just yet. It's telepathy! It's telepathy! Is it Sharako? Ha ha ha! You shouldn't have forgotten about me. Well, it's time fine. Well, it's time for the final stage, and I'll be ending it in part 18.